Celestial Objects, Wonders of the Sky Hello, everyone. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to understand a fascinating term in English, celestial objects. This phrase is not just important in English but also opens a window to the incredible universe we live in. Whether you're a language learner or a starry-eyed space enthusiast, this video is for you. Let's dive in. Celestial objects are any natural bodies outside the Earth's atmosphere. These include stars, planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and even galaxies. They're the building blocks of the universe. When we look up at the night sky, almost everything we see are celestial objects. This term captures the vastness and mystery of the universe in just two words. Now, let's explore different types of celestial objects. 1. Stars. These are huge, glowing balls of gas, primarily hydrogen and helium, undergoing nuclear fusion. Our sun is a star. 2. Planets. These are large objects orbiting a star. Earth, where we live, is a planet orbiting the sun. 3. Moons. These are natural satellites orbiting planets. Our moon orbits Earth. 4. Asteroids and comets. Smaller objects in space. Asteroids are made of rock and metal, while comets are made of ice, dust, and rocky material. Each type has unique characteristics, forming a diverse cosmic tapestry. The term celestial objects is not only a scientific term but also has cultural and historical significance. Many languages and cultures have stories, myths, and names based on these objects. They inspire art, literature, and have been a part of human curiosity and exploration for centuries. Understanding this term enriches our appreciation of both language and the universe. Interestingly, celestial objects often appear in idiomatic expressions in English. Phrases like, reach for the stars, or once in a blue moon, show how these cosmic entities influence our language and expressions. These idioms enrich our everyday language, adding a touch of the cosmic to our conversations. And that's our journey through the cosmos in the English language. I hope you found this exploration of celestial objects both enlightening and enjoyable. These terms connect us not only to the vast universe but also to the richness of the English language. Keep looking up and exploring! Until next time, happy learning and stargazing!